Tulsa was here a few weeks ago in, in the SMU tournament. You didn't play against them, but you did get to see them. How different did they look from between two weeks ago and now? Well, they made great strides. Uh, I think both teams have improved a lot. I was talking to you know to Tom for the match, and uh, you know both teams have been on a great run. Um, had some you know have had some big wins, and uh, you know as usual, you, you know it's going to be a battle whenever you play Tulsa. You know we're so. Uh, close to them, it's the closest thing that we have. Uh, you know, as, as a derby match, uh, they're the closest um, team and our biggest rival in the conference. Um, and uh, you know, it's always an interesting game when we play them, and, and, and our players knew that as well. At the beginning of the year, you faced two really tough teams in South mm -hmm. Florida and New Mexico. Yeah. Since then, eight game un unbeaten streak. Mm -hmm. Now four straight wins. What's the biggest change you see in your team between the start of the year and now? Uh, just con consistency. Um, you know, we uh, use a lot of young players, and, um, and, and they, they were able to get their feet underneath them and, and make some mistakes um, early on, and, and, and we still were able to, to get some results. So I think just the consistency and in, in, in our performance has just gotten better and better. Um, you know, able to hold the ball uh, defensively. You know, uh, Jaime's been on fire uh, with our back line. Uh, you, know, you know, Michael King and Aaron Simmons in the middle have done a great job, and then uh, you know, Ponce and, and, uh, and Choppy, Damian Rosales out wide have been great, uh, you know, and, and have given us a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of attack out of the back. So we've been, you know, been very fortunate. You've played so many freshmen and sophomores this year and talked about the youth of this team. Mm -hmm. Where is the team now in terms of its development compared to what you expected at this point in the year and, and what you expect now going down the stretch toward the postseason? Well, you know, when, when you have when you have a lot of young players, it can go one way or the other. And, and uh Really, it's a it's a tribute to the older players, you know, that that give them the path to and, and, and the level that they need to perform at. So, um, you know, the older players have been been doing a great job. They've held a, a, a very high standard, even when uh, things were a little bit shaky. Um, and uh, you know, and, and they lead the way. So we're you know, I mean, we, we have we are a young team. There's no doubt about it. But uh, you know, we have a, we have great uh, senior leadership. Uh, the junior class, you know, is, has been instrumental right from the get-go, and, and they had a lot of uh, a lot of punch to our attack, and, and and those guys have been very strong all the way through. So, you know, there's good backbone in the junior and senior class. You mentioned how well Jaime's been <coughs> playing lately. Mm -hmm. National Player of the Week. Uh, he's given up two goals over the last six games with four shutouts in there. What can he do from here to improve? What are you asking for in terms of getting more out of him? Well, I mean, you know. It, He's going to take care of that. You know, he's a he has a a lot of ambition, and he wants to you know wants to move on in the game and play when he gets done. Um, but you know, he, he's just got to keep doing what he's doing and keep pushing himself. And he's put himself in environments that are that are going to make him better. Um, and I think that uh, you know, being here, uh, he's definitely challenged. Um, and I think that you know, his regiment during the summer training with FC Dallas, you know, it speaks for itself. So, you got your game winner tonight from Brendan mm -hmm. Lee, who started the year on defense. Mm -hmm. What was the thought process to pushing him up front, and, and what's the biggest thing he adds to your offense? Well, um, you know, Brendan did a great job uh, for us, uh, you know, when, when Amore wasn't available. And, uh, and then, you know, Amore is, is a natural left back. He's left footed. Uh, and, and we were able to use Brendan Lee in, in different spots. So uh, we could use him at left back. We can, you know, we were trying to find out, uh, you know, where he's best at. Um, and, and, and that that, uh, that position that he went in tonight is, is really suited for him. Uh, we kind of changed things up a little bit at halftime. Um, but, I mean, he could play in a number of different spots. You know, and he's, and he's, and he's so fast and, and, and quick uh, that he's just uh, he's dangerous wherever you put him. you got Kentucky coming in Saturday. They've got mm -hmm. a new coach this year. Yep. How different is Kentucky from what you've seen in years past? You know, I, we haven't we haven't watched a lot of Kentucky. Uh, Johan, uh, you know, took took over, and he, he's a, he's going to do a great job at Kentucky. I think it's a great a great situation for him. Uh, players are very lucky to have him there, um, and you know they have had uh, some very strong results. They they beat Louisville, uh, and and you know it's 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 a conference game. You know, uh, so it's it can anything can happen. Last year, you know, we were uh, ranked relatively high, and and went to Kentucky, who had, I don't think they'd won a conference game, and they beat us. You know, at, at, at Kentucky. So you really have to take um, it game by game. Um, and uh, and just put your best foot forward, and and then hopefully you come out with the result. I mean, we we, we you know you'd like to outshoot your opponent. I think you you yeah. know you always uh, you know it's just it, it, it's the main thing is you know there's shots and then there's quality opportunities, 
and and we don't uh, you know we don't really uh, you know the stat shots is, is an important stat but really we look at it you know quality opportunities that we're that we're generating and, and I wish we would generate more you know but right now um, we're, we're, we're I think we're doing a good job and we have a very high you know, shot to goal ratio. You know what I mean? We, you know, we don't take a lot of shots, but we get opportunities and, and are able to finish them. And as long as that continues on, you're going to be all right. But um, we, we would like to generate more offense. Um, you know, I, I think that there's just there's so many moving parts up there. You know, Juan coming back, you know, off of his injury. Uh, you know, Tyler, you know, used to play in the midfield. We moved him up top. Now he's done a pretty good job there. So you know, you know, Ben's you know obviously been a forward his whole career, and, and then Will's coming on, and, there, and Lalo you know you know fits in, in in there at times. So it's just really uh, you know we wish we were generating more, but it's something that we're gonna have to continue work. It's the hardest part of the game, and uh, hopefully we'll continue to get better and better at that as we go along. But we would like to take more. We'd like to score more too. But you know, if you win, that's really you know at the end of the day, that's what you want. But uh, you know that 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 hopefully will improve as we go along. Considering the physical nature of the teams you've played recently, mm-hmm. South Carolina, UAB, I gather is really <clears throat> huge. Yeah. Tulsa always plays you hard. Yeah. Are you surprised to be sitting at three and zero? Yeah. I mean, you know, we we we, uh, we we don't you know we we feel we go into every game trying to win it, and we felt like uh, you know in every game that we have the opportunity to win, and and if we put our best foot forward, I think we could win any game that we play. Uh, but you know, you, you just. You know, you you can you can't guess what your you know record's going to be in the conference. You just got to go out and play the matches. Hopefully, uh, you know you come out at the right end of it, at the end of it, and uh, and and get ready and, and get a good opportunity to win the conference or or conference tournament. You know, you want to get into conference tournament first. That's the that's the main goal. And then uh, and then after that, you know, if you win that, then you know you have the at large bid to the NCAA, and and obviously that's the the main goal is to get in the NCAA tournament, see how far you can go.